Look at that, guys. Look at that shine. Dirty ghetto kids. Let's look at the side. I think this came out pretty cool. So what up guys? It's me here. Got some fun stuff today. I told you I was going to use these old uh, wheels. Actually used once. I was going to make some sort of coat rack or hat rack. Well, I went to a skate shop today and I picked up a deck. And I got some grip tape. That is the Blood Wizard grip. It matches my ramp board. I found this pretty cool um, Cheech and Chong board and it wasn't going to be okay to go in the house. <laughs> so. She said I would have to keep that here in my man cave. This is my office, and I'm still unpacking it. A couple of the boards that I have, um, the computer where I edit, got my mountain bike up there. This thing, I'm gonna be putting a lot of uh, all my skate stuff in it. And uh, yeah, pretty cool, but it's a super mess in here. So here's the parts that I got. I got four bolts for the wheels. I'm going to put the wheels through here. Um, I'm going to put them at the bottom of the deck and I'm probably going to put them on this side so that the board will be here. I'm going to put one wheel here over these leaves, another wheel here, and then another wheel out on the end. So what I was thinking of doing, because of the concave and because I'm going to put it at the bottom, that would angle all the wheels down. I don't want to do it like that. So I'm going to try to use stock bushings that came with all the um, independent trucks I bought because I put bones in everything. So I've got a whole bunch of stock bushings. I'm going to try to angle these bushings out on this lathe so that I can keep these bolts coming out at the right angle. I'm going to put bushings on both sides. And uh, you know what? We'll see how that works. All right. So my wheels are going to be here, two of the bolts I got are 5 inch, the other two are like 4 inch or 4.5. I was going to put the shorter ones here, I have the ability to cut all of this stuff on the lathe. I got this, okay so I got regular uh, skate, skateboard uh, truck bolts here. And then I got these bolts to adjust the length out on these threads that I want. And I can basically cut off as much as I want. Then at the end, I'm just going to cut this copper pipe. It will slide right over the bolts. And so this is going to look like the axle that the wheel is going to basically be attached to. So hopefully this will work out. Pretty stoked on that idea. And I think this is pretty good placement here. I think I like it. The bottom of that. This should be the same exact positioning. All right, let's double check. You know what, you measure twice, you drill once. Okay, good. Let's do this. So that's a nice flush fit. Now it's angled. So if I get this the right way here, that should pitch the bolt. Oh yeah, see now, that's perfect. All right, so then this other bolt's gonna go right here. You get to see what one of these bad boys is gonna look like before I put the, okay, I need, bearings. I was going to use my Bronson raw bearings.
see what this looks like. I'm not even sure. Looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, that looks dope. This is better. Barely any play there. Got just the tip of the bolt coming through there. That looks pretty nice. You guys like that? Studs in the average house are 16 inches on center. I designed this in my head that I'm going to take a 2x4. I'm going to screw it to the wall, to the section of the wall where there's a stud here and a stud here. And I'm going to hit the stud with the 2x4. Then I'm going to put this on the 2x4. And I'm going to hit one screw in either side at the top into the 2x4. Bam, dude, that's going to be solid. This puppy's not going to, that's going to be able to hold the weight of some coats, too. Maybe I should do a giveaway with one of these puppies. Would you guys be psyched on that? Hell yeah, that would look good in anybody's room, right? Spin test. All right, don't need a spin test going. Okay, where's the other bolts? Let's wrap this up because I'm getting tired. My wife said this deck was okay in the house, so Cheech and Chong was going to be in the man cave. <laughs> don't be long. Don't be long. Please, let's not be long. Please. I don't want to cut that again. Here it is, guys. Now I want to see it on the wall. I think that's pretty cool looking. This glare doesn't really help from this design, does it? I'm probably going to hit the sack. Probably going to hang this thing in the morning. Finish this video. Get it up tomorrow. I want you guys to see it by this weekend. Look at that, guys. Look at that shine. Dirty ghetto kids. Let's look at the side. I really like the way those copper axle covers came out. Can I get in there close on that? You got your uh, stock indie bushings right there. You got your gold indie washers. Those come off the uh, gold titanium trucks. Which I use Bones bushings, so I don't have any need for those washers, so I happen to have them. That was pretty cool. Let's take a look at it from back here again. I tried filming this last night on the floor under light and it just did not work having that mirror reflect the light back at me. I think it came out totally dope. Get some clothes on it. You can still see the design of the board. I think it came out pretty awesome.